right, here goes part two of the in-depth review of the Gemmin Library. Part one, we spent a lot of time on it, so I wanted to split it up. So we're going to just go all the way down the line here. So you got Acts of Vengeance, uh, which is a, is a whale as well. Actually, I could have used that for the whale video. I did read Acts of Vengeance and the crossovers. 90s stuff, the whole premise is, hey, Magneto can never defeat the X-Men. Doctor Doom can never defeat the Fantastic Four. What if Doctor Doom goes after the X-Men and Magneto goes after Fantastic Four? That's the whole premise behind that storyline. And they could have really done much more with it, if you ask me. But dope 90s stuff. Can't really hate on it. Alias. Man, I watched the show. I loved it. I read the issues digitally before I had the omnibus. It was dope, man. The comic was dope. Alpha Flight by John Byrne. I haven't read it. It's gonna. It looks like it's gonna be a struggle. It's very um, Bronze Age, <laughs> Bronze Age art, which is straight, but with like an uninteresting team, right? So that's gonna be a tough pill to swallow. The Amazing Fantasy Omni, which I believe ends with Amazing Fantasy Fifteen. Classic stuff, man. Stan Lee and uh, Steve Ditko, pre-hero stuff. I talked about Annihilation. And Conquest in the Whale video. Atlantis Attacks. I don't know why it's got an Omni, man. It's like some kind of random uh, 90s crossover event. You know, still sealed. I don't know when I'll ever get to that one. Then you got Avengers Volume 1 and 2 from the original run. I always make sure to get the uh, direct market variant so that I have the original cover on the front. So that's Volume 1. That's Volume 2. Avengers The Crossing is probably the biggest uh, running joke in the omnibus community. You can probably get this book for 20 bucks somewhere. Still sealed. It's probably a terrible 90s story. Then you got Avengers by George Perez, Volume 1 and 2. Avengers by John Byrne. Um, Uncanny Avengers, which was a newer Marvel Now title. Avengers by Jonathan Hickman. Jonathan Hickman's got a pretty big ongoing uh, cosmic thing going on that's part of it and so is fantastic four uh, we'll talk about it when we get down there new avengers which says volume one there's oversized hardcovers that continue after this ends but i don't know if they're ever going to convert that to a volume two it doesn't really seem like it oh oh these are kind of a tight squeeze in here Ultimate Comics Avengers, got Avengers West Coast Volume 1 and 2, Young Avengers, Golden Age Captain America. Yeah, I don't even want to mess with it with one hand. Then you got Captain America by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby, Volumes 1 and 2. That's Volume 2. Uh, then you have Captain America by Jack Kirby. That's when he returns to Marvel to do Cap. I haven't read any of these Avengers books. So I read, I did, you know, I did read the first three, I read these two, didn't read none of that. I did read Captain America by Brew, uh, Brew Baker, Volume 1, and I did read The Death of Captain America and Captain America Lives. That's kind of like the Brew Baker, uh, well, I don't want to say trilogy, because these are his books as well, but I haven't got to those yet. Uh, I was capped out after that, you know what I mean? Captain Britain, this is a whale as well, could have been in the whale video, uh, I guess it's known for like making a tolerable Captain Britain comic, <laughs> but um, I don't know, we'll get to it eventually. So we got some Stephen King Dark Tower, Omnibus, uh, they're actually in these hardcover slipcases, the Dark Tower and the Dark Tower Companion. And you got the Gunslinger and Gunslinger Companion. I know the movie didn't do well. It seemed pretty cool, but I don't know. One day I'll have to read the uh, the books. You got Daredevil. I have not read this. Volume 1, the Stan Lee stuff. I did read. Let's talk about a damaged omnibus. So this omnibus is the reason why you uh, relax the spine, man. This book is jacked up. But you know what? Fuck it, right? So I read that. I did read The Companion. I did read Daredevil by Brubaker, um, Bendis, 
Oh, I got it out of order. I'm over here looking at this like, what the hell? So um, this is volume two. So I recently moved. I had to move my whole collection, so that's out of order. Well, now I don't... You know what? I think the Bendis uh, volume one and two was first. And I read those, but I didn't read the Brubaker stuff yet. All right, whatever. Daredevil by Mark Wade. Haven't cracked it yet. I'm not really a big fan of the art, but whatever. The Deadly Hands of Kung Fu. Got volume one and two. Uh, I don't know if I went DM variant on them. I, I, with those, I kind of went whatever cover I like best. Then we have all the Deadpool omnibus. The Deadpool Beginnings I read recently, and it's basically his first appearance in New Mutants 98 through his first uh, miniseries. And, you know, it's all his little first appearances and, uh, you know, all those books. Then Deadpool by Joe Kelly I read which um, is like issues 1 through 30 of his his first solo series. Yeah, 1 through 33, plus some extras. So I read that. Deadpool, Deadpool Classics continues from that run, which I haven't read that yet. And I have not read Deadpool and Cable either. The Deadpool Minibus Volume 1 and 2. So I always thought Minibus because it was a thin little Omni, but... Really, it's just collecting all his mini series like uh, Deadpool vs. X Force, Deadpool vs. Carnage, Deadpool vs. or Kills the Marvel Universe, and all, it has all those little mini four issue series. This is uh, Deadpool by was that Poston and du Dugan. I read the first uh, arc that sucked, and I heard it picks up and gets better. So I, re I really got to read that. This is a weird Jack Kirby thin little omnibus Devil Dinosaur. It's kind of like a whaleette, right? So it's not crazy expensive, but it's not cheap either. I haven't read that yet. I did read the Doctor Strange omnibus. All his first books uh, in Strange Tales. It was pretty dope, man. Especially for a Silver Age read. It wasn't, it wasn't hard. Doctor Strange Sorcerer Supreme. I believe this is his 90s stuff. It's fairly new. Haven't got around to it yet. Actually, this is not even... I think it's before the 90s. Whatever. Electra, man. So I, I started reading this. This is actually a custom dust jacket made to look like all the other Omnis. Couldn't get into Electra, man. I really uh, I had to start reading it. The Eternals, another Jack Kirby. Haven't read it yet. I'm kind of interested to read it. Evolutionary War reminds me of Atlantis Attacks. You can probably pick that up for 20 bucks somewhere. Nothing to write home about, right? couple issues not it's all through annuals then we have a readathon that I'm, I'm looking forward to reading the fantastic four so you have the volume one with stanley and jack kirby right the original then you got volume two just continuing the stanley jack kirby stuff in volume three a lot of first appearances in those first uh, 50 or so issues, you know? Then you got the Fantastic Four by John Byrne. These ones, I'm not sure if I went DM variant or not. It didn't really matter to me. Volume 2. Then, here's a whale. Fantastic Four Volume 1 by Hickman, which is part of that whole Hickman cosmic uh, run. That's Volume 2. Then you have the Fantastic Four by, was it Mark Fraction or Mike Fraction? I haven't read that yet. Ghost Rider by, I believe, Jason Aaron. It's a, it's a whale, that's a whale of a book for you there. So that's one that's hard to come by. Then you have Guardians of the Galaxies, Four Omnibus. This is the, um, like the first appearances of them. It's called the Solo uh, Classics. So you got your first appearance of Groot, your first appearance of Thanos, first appearance of Rocket and Star-Lord and all that stuff. I believe first Rocket's in here. Yeah, right here. So the movie Guardians of the Galaxy, that wasn't the first comic. So that kind of just compiles a bunch of random issues from characters that wouldn't become a team until sometime later on. Then you have Guardians by Jim Valentino, which is... This team that shows up, spoiler alert, in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, the movie, 
And then you have the team that we know, um, Guardians of the Galaxy by, what is it, Abnett? I'm not familiar with him, and Bendis, which one of those books, like all the issues in this book are in Annihilation or War of Kings or one of those, so it double dips. Hawkeye, this Hawkeye on the bus, I ran out of room on the shelves here, but it's supposed to be a good read. I haven't read it yet. Howard the Duck. Don't know when I'm going to get around to that. I haven't read it. Incredible Hulk. I've read like the first five issues, but this has like the first five issues plus his what? Submariner and Hulk issues and all that other stuff that came afterwards. Planet Hulk and World War Hulk. I've read the stories in the oversized hardcovers and they just recently... Um, uh, release these omnibus so I haven't read the omnibus I've read the story but I haven't read all the tie-ins so I'm gonna have to end up cracking that one day Immortal Iron Fist is a kind of a whale of a book as well I've read this the Omni recently it's pretty good cool stuff better than the show now we start to Infinity Gauntlet this was one of the first omnibus I bought when I read it you gotta love Infinity Gauntlet. They got a box set coming out. I don't think I'm gonna double dip, man. I don't. I don't really think I need to. Invincible Iron Man with the classic Tales of Suspense 39 cover, uh, Volume Two with the Iron Man One cover. Haven't read those yet. Haven't read anything. I'll tell you when I get to the next one that I read. This is Iron Man by what's that, David? How do you say his name? Michelini. I know him from his Spider-Man work. Another Iron, Invincible Iron Man Omni. John Carter, World of Mars. I hear it's supposed to be much better than the movie. Loki. Uh, I believe I read the first issue. I think it came out with the Marvel Now stuff. This is a newer omnibus. I haven't read it yet. You got Man Thing. I remember my boy Frank. He'll probably comment on here. I remember he got this for me at his local comic shop because it was out of print. It's not really a whale. But it's hard to find. The Marvel Now Omnibus is just um, a sampler. Issue one of like all the Marvel Now titles at the time. I actually read most of those books because I had them in floppies when it was coming out. This was kind of a money grab. 75 Years of Marvel. It has a cool Alex Ross cover. But I have all these issues in other books, you know? So it was kind of like... The completionist in me had to have it. The Marvel Golden Age of Comics with the DM variant. You know, back when it was timely was the company and Marvel was the, the book. Marvel First and 90s. I haven't read this omnibus, but I bet you I read every book in this, man. I grew up in the 90s. I, this is what my long box looked like when I was in the 90s. Like, all these issues. So... That's that. Then you have the Ultimate Marvel Sampler. I think it's got four issues from each of those runs. Alright, so then you got some more compilation books. Marvel Universe by Chris Claremont. Uh, then you got by John Byrne. I read Marvel Zombies. Then you got Mighty Thor. Talked about this in the Whales uh, video. Here's Volume 2. And Volume 3, like, just recently came out. Haven't cracked any of that. Haven't read any of these Thor omnibus. The Mighty Thor we talked about by Simonson. Thor by Straczynski. And the Mighty Thor Heroes Are Born. My man Gabe Infinity Watch. We'll tell you all about that. I haven't read any of that crap. The uh, Monster Bus Volume 1 and 2 is, like, the Stan Lee pre-hero stuff. Haven't read those yet. Miss Marvel, uh, I did read. Um, it's a good read, man. It's the new stuff with Camilla Khan. It was a cool book. Got Muppets and Muppet Babies. Don't judge me. I had to complete the, you know, keep the complete complete uh, Marvel omnibus going. Let me grab this chair, man. All right, so what else? We got New Warriors. Haven't cracked it yet. Get your Speedball and Night Thrasher and Nova. Oz, haven't read. Heard good things. Punisher Back to War looks dope. It came out recently, so everyone's familiar with this Punisher stuff, right? Got his first appearance. 
for, you know, early issues, his early magazine stuff, then his early appearances in his first miniseries. Haven't read any of this stuff yet. Um, Punisher by Rick Remender, by Garth Ennis, Punisher Max, Secret Warriors. This is also the Hick ties in with the Hickman stuff, even though it's not cosmic. It all goes together from what I understand. And we got Secret Wars and Secret Wars 2. I have read these. You know, Secret Wars 2 was kind of a chore, but, you know, classic stuff there. Shang-Chi, Master of Kung Fu, Volumes 1 through 4. That's a Tim Tebow set right there, brother. Let me know what you think about that. They're all the DM variants except um, 2, man. I had to go with the, the newer version. But otherwise, they're all classic covers. You got Marvel Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Silver Surfer, Amazing Spider-Man, Volumes 1, 2, and 3. Let's talk about this. So I've read these issues before, not necessarily in the omnibus. This is the old one that's like a really thick book that has like, you know, his first appearance and issues 1 through 30, and then Volume 2, Volume 3. Untold Tales. I used to have some singles back in the day, but I guess it takes place around this time. Um, but, you know, they kind of are saying, you know, they're like throwback. You know, something that didn't print here that happened during that time. Roger Stern. This is actually not the DM variant. This is like the Hobgoblin stuff. Issues in the two mid-200s of uh, Amazing Spider-Man. I read Amazing Spider-Man by McFarlane. I read Spider-Man by McFarlane and the uh, Spider-Man by Eric Larson. Clone Saga, I've read. I'm a big fan. I know most people aren't, but I love Ben Riley. I like the clone stuff. Um, volume 2 is coming out. I'll probably do a reread when they release everything again. Spider-Man's uh, Tangled Web. Man, I started reading this, but I put it down. It's just like issues that I've never heard of. Like, probably, you know, post-2000 stuff. Ultimate Spider-Man Volume 1. It's another situation like New Avengers, where the omnibus is out. There's oversized hardcovers to finish the run, but are they going to release them in, in omnibus? You know, it doesn't look like it. You know, this is the tail end of that run, where uh, they kill Spider-Man and Miles becomes Spider-Man. Spoiler alert on that. Then you got Deadly Foes of Spider-Man. I actually have read those when I, when I was reading digitally. A lot of people liked it. I didn't really like it too much. Squadron Supreme, classic. Um, actually, everything in here, the, everything in here is in here as well. But I just had to get it like as a completionist, man. Don't judge. This is the last uh, Stephen King hardcover slipcase set. Um, the Stand and The Companion, haven't read it. Then we have the original Marvel Star Wars, Volume 1 through 3, the Marvel UK collection, the Darth Vader omnibus, and the Droids and Ewoks omnibus. Tomb of Dracula, haven't read. This. These are Grails, uh, or Whales, I should say. I think Volume 1 more than anything, but they're all the DM variants. So it's kind of a cool set to have. Then you got the Ultimates from the Ultimate. It's like the Ultimate Universe uh, version of the Avengers. Haven't read that yet either. All right, cool. So, on to the next one. I talked about uh, the War of Kings that completes the Marvel Cosmic uh, Saga. I read all those. It was straight, you know. Werewolf by Night, haven't gotten to Wolverine. So, I have read this. Um, it's like, you know, Hulk 181, all those Frank Miller, uh, the Frank Miller miniseries, uh, and the Weapon X stuff, so it's a cool run. Wolverine by Mark Miller, which one is this? Yeah, I read this with the Old Man Logan stuff, and they have Volume 2's coming out now. Or, I'm sorry, Volume 2 of Jason Aaron is coming out with Wolverine Goes to Hell. This is just a standalone. I haven't read the Jason Aaron one yet. I have read Wolverine and the X-Men. It was a cool book. Um, Women of Marvel. Haven't read it. Uh, X-Force I've read. Uncanny X-Force I mentioned. I've read the story multiple times. 
then you got the Silver Age X Men. We showed you guys volume one, and here's volume two with the classic cover. Then you got your Uncanny volume one, two, and three, which I have read these stories before, just never in the omnibus form. Uh, then you have X Men, the 90s stuff by Jim Lee, which I've read before, volumes one and two. Age of Apocalypse was actually one of my first omnibus that I that I read, that I bought and read, and I haven't read the companion yet though. Uh, then you have Avengers X Men Onslaught. Haven't gotten to any of these yet, but you got Onslaught, New X Men by Grant Morrison, Astonishing X Men by Joss Whedon, and X Static, which I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, is what happened to the X Force book. When it ended in the 90s, it became ecstatic, and that's where you got dupe and all that kind of shit. And then the last Marvel omnibus is Legion, which I have not got around to yet. And I heard it's a tough read, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Now we got uh, oversized hardcovers of like major events, um, the ones that I felt that I needed. Age of Ultron, I did read uh, in floppies. Same thing with uh, Avengers vs. X-Men. I got the main story and the companion. Uh, I've read Axis, Civil War. I haven't read Civil War 2. Or Doctor Strange, The Oath. Um, I've read House of M. Have not read Infinity, Inhumanity, or Inhumans, or uh, Nyx, or is it NYX? I never really found that out. Um, Original Sin. I've, I started it. And I haven't finished it uh, back when I had the, uh, back when I was reading them in, uh, digitally. I believe this Punisher Max set, which is a whale of OHCs, is going to be a, an omnibus. So I'll probably have to get the omnibus, have to upgrade that. Secret Invasion, I didn't read. Secret Wars, I did read all those issues. Uh, Siege, I did not. The first Spider-Gwen, I did not read this. I think I read the first five issues, and I was reading all of that um, Spider-Verse stuff. I read Spider-Man Back in Black, <clears throat> which is kind of weird. So, I got back into comics around 2008, and that's when, like, it was around this time of uh, Spider-Man with Spider-Island and stuff like that. So, I read all these books, man. Spider-Man, Spider-Island, Superior. This is the newer, um, actually... Yeah, so this is Amazing Spider-Man when he comes back from being superior. Then it goes into this Amazing Spider-Man Worldwide, which I have both volumes. And then you have the, uh, the Clone Conspiracy. Got a little Star Wars oversized hardcover. And then this is a, a whale for an oversized hardcover. Uh, not this. Uh, X-Men Inferno, which is like a 90s storyline. It's got a prologue, the main story, and then the crossovers. X-Men Fall of the Mutants, uh, Mutant Massacre, Fatal Attractions, Extinction Agenda, Bishop's Crossing, Executioner's Song, Phalex Covenant. These are like all 90, uh, late 80s to early to mid 90s X-Men books. Mutant Genesis is the um, Jim Lee stuff, but like redrawn, reimagined. So, and then you got Operation Zero Tolerance. I did recently read Fatal Attractions. You know, I was interested to read it. The whole ex uh, Wolverine losing his anima adamantium and all that stuff. Uh, before I forget, these are new books that I have to figure out where I'm going to put them. This is Justice League, Dark Side, War, so uh, Saga, Omnibus. And then you got Justice League International, big book. So, got to put those away. Um, then you got Your Animal Man by Grant Morrison. I read that on the bus. It was good. It's not your typical hero book. It's kind of deep, but it's cool. Uh, Batman Nightfall is the whole 90s storyline with Bane, and he gets his, you know, B Bane breaks his back. 
I haven't read it yet. Volume 2 comes out on Tuesday on In Stock Trade, so I'll pick that up and I'll read them when I have them all together. Uh, Batman by Neil Adams is classic Batman stuff. I haven't got into that yet. Doom Patrol by Grant Morrison. I hear it's pretty dense. I haven't worked my way up to that yet. Uh, Green Lantern by Jeff Johns. So I've read the first two Omnibus. It's a great uh, story. Art is crazy good. Uh, Dar uh, Blackest Night is in Volume 2. So I gotta read Volume 3 and The Brightest Day Omnibus to kind of uh, tie that all in. Then you got The Flash Omnibus by Jeff Johns. Volumes 1 through 3. Kind of on whale status. Have I started reading Volume 1? Man, it was a little bit slow, man. I had put it down and I haven't gone back to it yet. All right, last row. It's kind of tiring, man. These are some new books that came out. The button, the whole lenticular cover thing. And the whole Dark Knight Master Race hardcover. Yeah, I... I think I read that story. I don't know if I finished it, man. The Flash by Francis Manipal. Haven't read it yet. Haven't read I'll tell you when I've read the next one. Uh, you got your Gotham Central, which is like a crime book from what I hear. And supposedly it's really good. The Harley Quinn Volume 1. I believe this is her 90s stuff. Yeah. Hawkman Omnibus. You got your uh, The Invisibles by Grant Morrison. And then you got... This is a random House of Secrets omnibus. It's a vertical book. So, I, we talked about Infinite Crisis in the um, in the whale video. I haven't read any of these going forward, man. So, you know, I have a lot of books. I've read a good chunk of them, but I got a lot to go. You got your DC 1 million omnibus, the 52 omnibus, um... Then, what is this, a new 52? What's the difference? Whatever. The DC Rebirth. So the only one I didn't double dip is they re-released that DC Rebirth Omnibus with, like, one more issue. And I said, you know what? Ain't no need to get that. So I didn't double dip for that. You should be proud of me. Um, then you got the new 52 Zero Omnibus, the, the Villains. That's also, like, a 3D cover kind of thing. A lenticular cover. Pretty cool, right? These were all those villains months when they had all those 3Ds. All right, then we got the Justice Society of America, volumes one through three. I have not cracked those yet. I hear a lot of good stuff about that. Um, Just Imagine is a Stan Lee book on DC Comics with like, some made up new teams. And then the planetary omnibus is the same stuff that's in the uh, uh, absolute editions. Uh, the Death and Return of Superman, I have read those stories before. Um, I haven't read the omnibus. The Sleeper is a Brew Baker omnibus, I haven't read. Then you got your new Teen Titans by George Perez, Teen Titans by Jeff Johns. Wonder Woman by Perez, Volume 1 and 2. That book in the middle is uh, Multiversity. That's Graham Morrison, I believe. I, Zombie, Omnibus, Powers, Orion by Walter Simonson, which is like a dark side thing. And then a Bendis Crime Nord book. So that is all of those. And then you just get into the whole um, DC line of the... Golden Age and Silver Age, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Adam Strange, Doom Patrol, Flash. Uh, the Flash and Justice League uh, have custom dust jackets, so they matched. Green Lantern, Legion of Superheroes, Suicide Squad, all, all that good stuff. On the side here, those big books on the bottom are the Gunslinger... Um, what is it called again? Six Gun Gunslinger Editions. They're they're bigger than Absolutes. Kind of like these Transformer books. Those are the movie ad adaptions. These are all too big to fit in the Calyx. 
Um, this pile right here is like double dipped duplicates, except for Dead Man. But those four o oversized hardcovers, I might do a giveaway. All right, so the last thing I want to talk about uh, are the trade paperbacks. So up here, we have all the Ninja Turtle adventures from the Archie books. And then I didn't even know what these were, man. N uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Universe, which I think ties in with the current run. Then we got the Alien Omnibus, which I believe double dips from the hardcover. But you got Alien vs. Predator. These are um, Power Rangers trade paperbacks that double dip. Then you got some some Spider-Man stuff to complete Alien costume, Volume One and Two. You got Venom by Remenders, the complete edition, Space Venom. That just some random trades. Spider-Man Two Hundred Nine Nine is one of my favorite characters. I I have the trade paperbacks. I think they need one more volume to finish it. And then all his uh, new Spider-Man 2099 stuff. Uh, what else? So that's pretty much it. So that's the whole library. Man, these videos went longer than I thought, man. But um, that's everything, man. Hit me in the comments if you have any questions. If, you, if anyone actually took the time to watch all this, man. It'll be a long video. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Well, thanks for uh, for asking about it, man. Catch you later.